for cheap, instant, much 17 coins. Check out Digisani, guys. Links on the description and use code Man and All Stars for 5% off your order. Check it out. What's up, Man and All Star crew? This is Joe King John City Four. Today, I'm here to talk about the Thursday night game between the Denver Broncos and the Carolina Panthers. If you guys missed this game, you guys missed on a hell of a show. This game, it was just tremendous the first half. Cam Newton out there, he was breaking records. He was rushing the ball with no problem. He was just, you know, going through that d line with no problem. And the, and the freaking, you know, the Denver Broncos has an amazing defense. But somehow, I'll keep to leave the markers where Avon Miller did not keep up with Cam Newton. I mean, something must have happened with that defense because they were asleep that for whole first half from what I saw. And then the Denver Broncos on offense has this, you know, quarterback who's number 13. I never heard about this guy like seriously i don't follow them during preseason so when i saw the game i was like what the hell is number 13 but number 13 i don't know how to say his name by the way he did a hell of a job he was a great field general out there he was controlling the o-line he was controlling those receivers pretty good because you know he does have a great arsenal he has the maris thomas emmanuel sanders virgil green and with all those kinds of people on that freaking offense he's gonna do good i mean you saw how he did in the second half and it was amazing and also cj anderson if you guys drafted him for fantasy that was a great pickup. I wanted to draft that guy, but freaking some guy picked it up before I started drafting. And also Cam Newton, you know, when breaking records, if you guys picked up Cam Newton, he did a lot of fantasy points too. So um, my thoughts on this is that the Canada Panthers choked on the second half. They looked beasty in the first half, just like Notre Dame. You know, Notre Dame, they looked beasty in the second half, and then all of a sudden they just choked in the overtime. Actually, it was a great game. The, per the team that actually choked has to be Texas Longhorns in the second half. I mean, they were leading 31 to freaking 14, and they blew the lead. And over here, the Carolina Panthers did something similar on the second half. So the Panthers, they need to stay consistent like through the whole freaking game because that's not what it's showing the second half the first half they were just wrecking that denver defense even though they had a bunch of veterans like a keep to lead the marcus Ware and von miller you know still that wasn't even enough to contain uh cam newton he looked like a beast y'all had to admit it he did look like a beast even though you hate cam newton you had to admit this guy was just scrambling like he had no fucking life like out there like he just wanted to fucking play some football that's what's amazing about cam newton and uh you know that that was amazing fight by the panthers and the denver you know the denver offense over there it was just uh greatly controlled by some guy that i don't even know of or never even heard of so um what are your thoughts about this game, people? Because it was amazing. It was an amazing game. It was a great Thursday night, a great kickoff game. And um, I hope to see more of this like on Sunday and on Saturday nights and also Monday nights. I mean, it's going to be a hell of a season, guys. The NFL is finally here. Amazing. You know, you all have to freaking admit, you all miss the NFL, and I do too. So it was a hell of a game, guys. What are your thoughts about this? My thoughts is that the Denver Broncos did a hell of a job controlling their offense and defense. They finally woke up in the second half while the Carolina Panthers over there, they fell asleep in the second half, and I think they got too confident because, you know, we saw Cam Newton over there flossing his goddamn team. I was like, what the hell are you doing with your teeth, man? Go out there, lead your team, and be a freaking quarterback that you need to be for that team. Because as far as I know, the guy, is he just gets too confident, and that's how they end up losing. So, I mean, th that's exactly what happened over there in the, in the freaking Super Bowl. That's why they lost, because he has too much confidence. He started dabbing everywhere. Like, what the hell, Cam Newton? Come on, concentrate, man. Be a field general over there. A guy who hasn't, I haven't even, even heard of is a great field general than you. Like, he's better than you. So that's my opinion about this game. What is your opinion, guys? Leave it in the comment section, and I'll read it later. So that's it. If you guys want to see more NFL news and also more updates for NFL Sundays and more like predictions about all this NFL season, subscribe for more because Madden All-Star is going to bring you more about this.